Well, we're on AFC East quarterbacks. It happens to be Tom Brady's 40th birthday. Yeah, is Tom Brady the greatest of all time? There are a couple definitions for GOAT. There's a guy who makes the critical mistake at a critical juncture, and then there's the greatest of all time. And, and Brady certainly can lay claim to that. Five Super Bowl rings, most by quarterback all time and more than the rest of the AFC East teams combined. It has been a glorious run in New England for Tom Brady and now turning 40 today. And in honor of Brady, yes, they had they, they put together a little petting zoo there apparently at Gillette Stadium with goats. And goats will eat anything. You know, they'll eat the shirt off your back, as you can see right here. But, uh, yeah, happy birthday, Tom Brady. The fans showing up, everyone wishing Brady a happy 40. If it doesn't happen that often in the NFL. It is good. 40. They don't, they don't have like a, a fun term for 40, do they? There's dirty 30 and there's just 40. So he's pretty old. What do you get a guy like that who seems to have everything in first birthday? I get him touchdowns. <laughs> Gotta catch the ball. That's all he wants. His receivers, tight ends, running backs to catch the ball. There's nowhere else where he wants to spend it uh, besides the football field. TB12 turning the big 4-0 today. We've got uh, Field Yates and Herm Edwards has, has joined us now as well to talk about this. Field, if you had to, give us your favorite Tom Brady moment in a, in a tremendous career. I'm going to throw a curveball here, David, if we can. There was a play earlier on in this – yeah, I'd say early on in his career, but he's played for so long. Uh, but Tom Brady, not known for his elusiveness, but watch him, tucks the ball, and that's – Brian Erlacher right there. He makes <laughs> Brian Erlacher miss for like a nine-yard gain, which may sound insignificant, but that might be the longest run of yeah. Tom Brady's career. I mean, how often do you see Brian Erlacher get shook yeah. in the open field, much less to a quarterback who has the elusiveness of uh, molasses? <laughs> so, you know, listen, there's somebody to pick from. I figure we have a little fun with a fleeting Tom Brady scramble moment. All right, we, we dug up some <laughs> Brady with some wiggle there on, on Erlacher. What about you, Herm? I'm going to say the 2007 season uh, when he passed for, what, 50 touchdowns? Yeah. 23 of them went to Randy Moss. They were 16 and 0 football team now. What got him at the end was the Giants. But um, that was really a great season. You think about 50 touchdown passes in one year. Uh, that's only the 50 numbers have been uh, obviously accomplished twice. One by Peyton Manning and once by uh, Tom Brady. So that was an electrical season for him in this offense, 37 points a game. Uh, they were beating folks by two or three touchdowns a game, it seemed like. So, to me, that was a year that you look back at and you go, he was playing in the NFL now against pro football teams. Yeah. And it just seemed like every time you turn around, there was another touchdown being thrown. So, so you figure that was a decade ago. You figure yeah. that's Brady in his prime. Who knew his, his prime was going to last this long? Have you seen any erosion of skills whatsoever? Anything that he, that he could do in 2007 that he can't do in, in 2017? No, and, and I, I, I think, you know, he, he has done a great job of preparing himself uh, – for this journey that he's on right now. I think in his mind, he knew that, you know, he's about making history. Uh, there's no quarterback in our era or any era in football that's ever won a Super Bowl at 40. Yep. So when you've already won five, um, you got a chance to win another one the when you're in your 40s. In fact, right? Yeah, so I mean, I think that's one of the things that, 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 that is in his mind. But also, he's passionate for the game of football. He's committed to this. As, as many other things that he has going, you know, he has his own brand, he has everything, he's Captain America, you know. He loves the competition of football. That's what you enjoy about the guy. He loves competing. Yeah. He, he, that's, that may be his singular quality yeah. field is that he, he still burns with that, that competitive fire this deep into a career where he's done everything. Right, the edge. There's so few ways to glean an edge when you're 40 years old and the rest of your competition is fresh out of college or maybe even 28 years old being considered a veteran. But Brady's competitive desire is what continues to stand out to teammates. You know, guys that have either been there for multiple years in New England with him or guys that are the new kids on the block just stepping in. Tom Brady's the tone setter from his work ethic and – it's not work ethic just in the season. It's not work ethic just within the confines of when 
players are supposed to be there. It's the perpetual work ethic and it extends beyond just the way he trains. It's the way he eats, which is now legendary. It's the way that he studies. Although that someone is... misspelled uh, avocado ice cream there. On the, oh, boy. I, saw a I think I saw AVA. A AVA. It's got to be AVO, yeah. oh, right? Oh, <laughs> yeah. I just, you know, listen. That's fans uh, got to be better than that. And he has a game that is built to last, right? There's not a bunch of uh, out-of-pocket mobility that is required from Tom Brady for him to be successful. And in the way that they play offense, it's a per precision timing-based passing offense. Get the ball out quick. Make your reads. Deliver a shot. Let some receivers do some work after the catch as well, which is why I don't think it's any stretch for Tom Brady to play at a very high level for at least the balance of his current contract, which is three more seasons. You, you marvel at what he's been able to accomplish. I, I will say this. Um, he gets it. Uh, later in his career now, he understands once you step away from this great game of football, you can't go back. And once you leave this game, there's a void. As I sit and watch football games and watch guys play, that's what I miss the most. Mm. You miss the competition of going in the arena, playing against the best players in the world. Nothing satisfies that. And do it as long as you can at a high level, and he's been able to do it, just keep doing it. Because once it's gone, you can't get it back. Your memories are great, but you actually going and putting your feet in the grass and competing, you don't get to do that anymore. Yeah, he is smashing barriers. Uh, I mean, there's this huge body of evidence that says you cannot keep on playing at this level at this age. We'll see what Brady has, but you're right. There's been no sign of any uh, slowdown, no any erosion regression. of skills with Good Tom for him. Brady. Happy birthday to Mr. Brady. Uh, much more with Field.